everyone and welcome back to our channel today i am going to be baking banana bread i know that is a very quarantine-esque activity to do if you're watching this in the future we are still in the time of covid um so there is really nothing to go do today is sunday um and usually it's our like regroup run errands relax get everything back together. I already ran my errands this morning, so it's time for me to relax and make some banana bread. My little island thing is rolling away as I speak. So I have my ingredients here, and I'm gonna be following a recipe um, by Kristen Johns. It's not by her, I think she like adapted, adapted? Created her own recipe, but like modified it using another, I don't, what am I saying? I think it's like a modification of another recipe, but I got it from her. I'll put it right here and I'll put all the instructions below, but I got it from her Instagram story. So I'll put her Instagram story. So the first thing I have to do is because my bananas are not ripe, I bought them today at the grocery store because I forgot. So I have to ripen them. And I found out that you can ripen bananas in the oven. It's not the best i did do this a couple months ago and my apartment reeked of bananas for a couple hours but we're gonna risk it again it's a nice day i can open the windows and i won't suffocate dan with banana smells i have my bananas on my cookie sheet and all it says is you just lay them out you need four large bananas um, for this recipe so i have all four laid out uh, preheat to 300 degrees and then it just says 15 minutes and they're gonna be like black like it's gonna be scary but it's gonna be fine. <laughs> so these are all the other ingredients that we're going to need. Eggs, sugar, flour, um, some salt, vanilla, brown sugar, baking soda, and chocolate chips. Her recipe calls for dark chocolate. Um, I mean, I like dark chocolate, but now I only have um, semi-sweet. And I'm just gonna put these on top. Kristen puts them in her bread, but last time I did that, it was like way more chocolatey than it was banana -y. um and I like I like the banana more um than the chocolate chips so I just felt like it was too like chunky I'm just gonna like sprinkle the chocolate chips on top like on the crust if you will and then I have this baking pan it's a bread loaf pan it's actually pampered chef and I got it at a tag sale for a dollar it was originally two dollars but it was like the last few hours of the tag sale so the woman gave it to me for a dollar and i just felt like i won a million dollars so i'll check back in with you guys when the bananas are done okay so bananas are <laughs> scary looking um and they're just cooling so while those cool i will start mixing ingredients together. So I have my recipe on my little iPad here. I realized I should have kept the oven on, so I'm gonna re-preheat the oven. So preheat the oven to 350, and we're gonna whisk together the dry ingredients. So flour, salt, and baking soda. No! No! R.I.P. Manicure I got last week. Okay, so put my recipe like off camera so I can kind of see it. One and a half cup of flour. Okay, so flour is in. One teaspoon of salt. I guess I realized I could have just scooped it, but this is more satisfying. One teaspoon baking soda. So I just got the store brand baking soda. It was literally 59 cents. <laughs> If I could open it without breaking another nail, that would be awesome. I'm so sad about that. I cannot open this. Like, I need a knife. Whoa. I have all my dry ingredients there. Oh, I need butter. Butter. I got the butter. Okay, we're just gonna mix these together. And we're gonna set them aside because now we're gonna do the wet ingredients. I don't have enough room on this island. I have my very scary looking bananas. Oh, they're still a little warm, but that's okay. Can I just like squeeze it? 
Hello? It's warm and mushy. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. You know what? Let's fast forward from this. All right, we are mashing. Should probably be using a fork. Got a fork. I don't have like a mashed potato masher thing. I wish I did, but fork is working. It just takes a little more arm muscle. Yeah. Strong. All right, now I should probably melt the butter. A third of a cup. Wait, I got the little like quarters and these are a fourth of a cup. I have to do like a stick and a little bit. I'm gonna call this a third of a cup. Be right back. Okay, I have my third of a cup of melted butter. And then it says to crack one large egg. I just have a brown egg. I don't think it matters. And then one teaspoon of vanilla. Oh wait, I forgot my, my brown sugar. Where does that go? Oh, I guess it goes in with the dry ingredients. Oh my God, this is like hard. Okay. Half a cup of brown sugar. Now we're gonna just mix these ingredients together. I'm just gonna take my whisk and whisk this. He's kind of lumpy. Okay, and I was also supposed to put a half cup of sugar in the wet mixture, so we'll just do that. It's fine, everything's fine. my dry ingredients in with my wet ingredients. I'm just adding little by little because I don't want a catastrophe. You know what, I'm gonna use a spatula, hang on. Okay, it's way easier. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. She is. Now we're going to put it into the loaf pan. Okay, here's my loaf pan. Bring it down like that. Perfect, that's a good angle. It's not straight, but like, works. What? You had a spell. even it out like that and I kind of just spread spread it across to make it even and then I'm gonna get the chocolate chips to put on top and now we are going to bake at 350 for I think it's 50 minutes let me double check yep 50 minutes so there <laughs> There she is, she's not beautiful, we had a spill. It's fine, it's gonna be good. I don't go for presentation, I go for taste. <laughs> and I'll check in with you guys when I take it out of the oven. Ooh. fork she's done she kind of split at the top we're a little messy with the chocolate chips but it's okay so we're gonna let this cool and when it's not so hot I will give you guys a taste test okay banana bread is cool kind of I still like it warm like I want to cut into it when it's warm and put butter on it Ooh. 
Got some butter on there. Or country cock, whatever it is. <laughs> There's still like some pieces of banana in here that weren't totally mushed, but. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. I came in my bedroom to do my outro because Dan was making fun of me. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to me and Annie's channel for more videos from us. A lot of exciting things are coming and we hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye.